let's talk about absolute path names and relative path names and how they work with your website. An absolute path name is what you use when you're linking from your site to someone else's website. It's as if I were trying to give directions to my cousin Kathy from Cleveland to tell her to meet me at a Smith house. I'd have to tell her to get on a plane, fly to Northern California, rent a car, go to Highway 880, go to San Jose, and then to Main Street, and then we'd be at the Smith house where we'd meet. Once we're at the Smith house, I would start using relative path names if, say, I wanted to go over to the Perez house. I certainly wouldn't start by saying, OK, let's both get on a plane from Cleveland over to Northern California. We're already in Northern California. We're already on the street we want to be on. So it's just as easy for me to say, from the Smith house, just go next door to the Perez house. And there we are. That's a relative path. When things are on the same street, it's very easy. Let's say I want to go from the Smith house to the Rahim house. We can still do this with a relative path name. What I say is, well, we're both on Main Street right now, so we have to go back to the connector road, and then we have to go down to San Carlos Street, and once we're on San Carlos Street, we can go to the Rahim house. Again, it's a relative path name. Let's say we want to go from the Rahim house to the key house. Again, this is all on our website, so we can do it with a relative path. We'll start at the Rahim house, and then we'll go back to San Carlos Street, where it connects to the main road in San Jose. And now that we're in San Jose, we can go back to Highway 880, take it down to Milpitas, and to Grant Road, and there's the first house, the key house. If we wanted to go back, we'd go back the reverse direction. From Grant Road, we take the Milpitas connector. From Milpitas to Highway 880. From Highway 880 to San Jose. From San Jose, we can get to San Carlos Street. And on San Carlos Street is the Rahim House. Now, here's a more tricky one. Let's see if you guys can figure out how to get from the Mendoza House here to the Jones house here. That's going to be in the next part of our video, so we'll see you back then when the video starts.